Oh my god, yay! <laughs> Oh my, oh my god, this is this is so embarrassing. I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Um, this is your first time going live though, right? Yeah, this is my first time live. And guys, people, be nice to me. I'm sorry. I, I don't know yeah. how to even send a request. I'm like, I don't want to go live alone. So I don't want to do that option. But then I see you in your life. And I'm like, what I'm doing? I'm, I, I kept on texting you. You probably told them. Like, yeah, this is embarrassing. <laughs> it's okay. It's on the story. I I was I was like, oh, good. It's like only ten oh four. I was actually early, which I was surprised about. I'm never early, um, but I was also showing everyone this picture. Like, tell me, oh. tell me more yeah. about this picture. Yeah. Um. So I have a sauna at my house, and this kind of Russian way how we do it, you know, and because um. Listen, April 1st, and we, we get in the snow. So that's already, like, no jokes here. And then um, I like to go to sauna. I like to go to sauna a lot. So then, um, yeah, after that, you normally go outside, and you wrap up the snow around you. And I just, you know what? I was We were having fun with my family, and I just jumped in. And actually, it felt amazing because this, like, um, from hot to cold, this... Um, amazing yeah. for the body like i loved it you should try but yeah. i don't know if you guys have snow now no now like phoenix we're actually really it's really nice here i'm not gonna lie it's like 75 degrees like it's perfect but it's like the contract bath like you go hot cold yeah so you don't yeah. mind ice baths yeah no that's the best because we you know like in tennis after tournament or like after the matches and press we do a lot of um ice bathing but i actually yeah. always like to mix it up with a hot shower or so yes. we don't have sauna in the locker rooms though we should think I about know, that's, it that's a request right i think yeah. it's a request yeah <laughs> locker I, rooms, I, like that, I like that i like that like uh the bear this is anthony by the way um and, hi anthony nice <laughs> to meet you do you uh From have Russia you with love <laughs> Have you been have you been in a Costco in the US? No. Okay. So Costco it's like this big warehouse store and like just think of everything that's very American like it's massive like you get the big like the biggest TVs like if you need peanut butter you get like jars that are like 4 kilos like it's everything oh. like super sized. So that's where this is where I got Anthony. He's like my super sized bear. <laughs> Anthony is the best, but um, no, he's great. Um, so what? So what are you doing to keep busy, bud? Like, what? What's uh, what's keeping you? Uh, what What are you doing in your days? Uh, um, to be honest, um, I I do a lot of stuff and I keep myself busy, which is uh, surprising because after right after Indian Wells got canceled, I. I was in absolute panic and I was like, oh my God, there is no tennis, what I'm gonna do? I don't know anything else to do. Like, I'm so used to the routines and everything, you know? Um, yeah. Like, I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go back home and see my family, no, <laughs> I don't wanna see my family. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to spend time with them. Um, so, no, uh, first of all, I, I still, I work out a lot, of course, to keep yeah. like you know my body in shape so I even do it twice a day um I I do a lot of stuff with my family like we hang out and play some games so we have table tennis and those sort of stuff I have my little nephew sometimes so and then um also I try to read books and okay. yes I say it like it's a, such an unusual <laughs> thing to do um <laughs> <laughs> it, kind of, um, it is for some people though like we're yeah. all like we can read books still <laughs> no i know it's it's sad because before like it was normal t to you know spend time with family what we do now it was normal before yeah. and now yeah. it's just like oh my god um and of course um because of the wt i'm in a wt council so we have non-stop constant calls and yeah. and um meetings over the phone and you know trying to really do something for the players um so that keeps yeah. me busy 
a lot. This yeah. is like, this is a really yeah. busy time. Yeah. So for everyone who doesn't know, Pavs is on the player board. She's one of our board reps. So she is in all the meetings right now that are being discussed about ranking points, calendar, tournament schedules. I mean, I like you're, you guys are doing an amazing job. Like this is a tough time. I mean, yeah. never has there been a time where this many tournaments have been canceled. Um, so it's a lot oh. of new, like new stuff. You guys are working like pretty hard. <laughs> oh, no, absolutely. Um, this is a very uh, crazy situation for everybody, but not only for the athletes. I mean, like people around the world in general. I, I really feel sad um, and it's very extreme. And I'm not sure, like it, it never like happened probably like that um, before that people just on the lockdown and nobody can really go out there and work. So yeah, it's, um, it's crazy. So now everybody knows who to blame <laughs> in case there is something <laughs> bad happening. <laughs> <laughs> we got to you know, come back to you. <laughs> No, you know, you, yeah. you've been on the player board for a while like I because I was there I was with you for a couple of years mm -hmm. um, this is the first yes. year that I haven't been on the board for a while but um, I mean you guys are doing a great job communicating with players I mean again like there's nothing right now there's really nothing we can do like tournaments are getting canceled Wimbledon was the big one and yeah. it's like we just kind of have we're with, like everyone else we got to kind of wait and see like what's mm -hmm. happening out there yeah I know I I just, I actually really hope that this season is going to happen because this, um, it's very, actually, it's very um, important and annoying, like, topic, subject, which bothered me a lot because, of course, us as tennis players, that, like, that's our life as well and yep. income and everything. So, um, yeah, let's see. I just hope that we can still play a little bit and play something this year yeah we'll we'll see later in the year if things start calming down a little bit but yeah. so in the meantime are you uh like are you staying in shape are you working out every day or are you like gonna take some time off because like listen if so since Wimbledon's canceled that's July you know middle of July like tennis players aren't used to taking this much time off even our off oh. season is like a couple weeks and then we're already training like this is the most yeah. unless you've been injured this is the most amount of time like any tennis player will take off so i are you gonna keep training or do you think you'll take some like rest like you don't want to overtrain either no exactly um so there should be like i'm working on this like tactic sort of you know it's like a marathon because you don't want to like sprint right away and then when actually the race starts and you were like, <gasps> you know, um, because ima <laughs> yeah. imagine I'm, I'm going to be like training crazy every day. And then once the tournaments restart, I'll be already sick of tennis again. And I'm like, okay, um, I don't <laughs> yeah. want to play anymore. Like, exactly. give me some, give me a break. Um, um, it's just, I think it's a very unfortunate time for all of us because we all had um, a great preseason, uh, let's say four or six weeks, whatever. And then we had Australian Open, like Australia Swing. And then pretty much this crisis started. So now, you know, we just started the season with feeling good and everybody's hungry. And then it just hit us, you know. So um, I'm, of course, I work out, I keep my body in shape, but it's mostly um, fitness, of course, because with tennis right now is very difficult. Um, and then yeah. Um, progressively, yeah, I'll go slow. Like, I don't want to kill myself right these days. <laughs> but um, ideally, ideally, of course, I would go, um, I would take some holidays and I wanted to do that after Indian Wells. Like I wanted to go to Hawaii, um, yeah. to have a nice, because I've never been there either. Oh, you've never been um, to Hawaii? Okay. No, no. So you gotta, it, it you gotta like, go. Yeah, it's on my to-do list, definitely. So, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to Hawaii, take a nice little break. I have time and then I'll start to prepare for the for the rest of the season. But because we are on lockdown now, <laughs> so yeah. I'm just like, I'm like, um, well, you know, I'm just waiting till we can all travel again and yeah. and see see how it goes. So. Yeah, yeah, no, this is it's a pretty um 
pretty wild time for the tennis tour. So, um, but I see also that you're dyeing your hair. We're not letting uh, any of this quarantine stop us <laughs> from doing our hair. Did you see, did you see I let Justin cut my hair? Mm hmm I saw yeah. that. Yeah. So um, I, like, yeah. I was stressed. <laughs> you um you guys well like you know every time we see each other we discuss the haircut and every time there is well you for sure you always every tournament you have a new hair um <laughs> and i like to i like to change also because it just yes i don't know i get bored i get bored and tired bored of my face <laughs> every time i look every, every time i look I look, I wake up, I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, it's you again. Like, <laughs> give, me, give me another look like, or we gotta something. We got to change it. We got to <laughs> change it. No, I feel like, I feel you on that. That is why I've like evolved from like your cut basically to my cut. But you always, yeah, like every tournament we go to, like you always have a different color. You've chopped yes. yours pretty short too though. Yes. Like you, yeah, you go bold. Have, yeah. Yeah, I had a super long hair all the time for pretty much all my life. And it was like a brown color, whatever. And I just, and all of a sudden I decided to, I don't mind. Like, you know, I was doing this since I was 16. I remember my mom was going nuts because back then, you know, she, she would come with me to the hairdresser and she's like crying there watching. I'm like, just take the scissors and do it just do it so like all the hair <laughs> falling on the floor and she's like oh I'm going crazy but you know That's it's so how funny. I am so I, yeah. I still I wouldn't be I able like to uh, thank you I wouldn't be <laughs> able to go as short as you do though you could like you could I didn't think I could either and I was like you know what I'm gonna if it worst case scenario I guess I just grow it out so I was I felt I was feeling yeah. really brave I had a good stylist, so I trusted him. That was the yeah. biggest thing. Um, but no, it's fun. Like it's fun to change your hair. Like I, you always, I'm always looking for you at the tournament so to go bold. But it's funny. <laughs> I, like I actually had long hair my whole life too, and I remember my mom always being like, "You're gonna cut your long, beautiful hair," and I was kind of like, "I kind of want to." Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I mom. I do like my hair, but short, short hair is good. Yeah. I agree. You so you have you have pink in it right now. Um, I I like the pink. Do you have other colors in your in your house, or, or are you gonna keep it pink for a while? Um, because pink is one of my favorite colors. So <laughs> for uh, for now it's for now it's pink. Um, I kind of like this blue bluish like blue color. I wanted yeah. to try. Do it. Um, I think hey, so. I because I got I got pink, orange, <laughs> silver, blue. I like I have purple. So I have like I'm gonna think about some options, uh, and I'll I'll do it later. Uh, purple. I like purple. Um, all right. So yes, purple, send me picture. Purple. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. So let's let's talk about tennis for one second because actually a lot of the people, uh, a lot of the fans watching are asking about tennis. So right now we'd be going into like from Miami to Charleston that's the schedule that we would have been playing right now what um uh have you played you've played Charleston a decent amount mm -hmm. right yeah so yeah. what what uh what do you like about uh Charleston um Charles so like first of all um I always like this it was like a family um I, it was uh different from other yeah. events because the atmosphere Eleanor, she was making it um, as well back then. I don't know because I was there a while ago. So, um, and yeah. I remember we won we won doubles with Lucy there, and uh, we got a wild card. We won the doubles, and I remember the deeper we went in the tournament, um, like after semis or something, they just gave us the BMW car for yeah. the rest of the tournament. So we were just like driving around anywhere we wanted. And we were doing, well, like, I don't know. And and also the site, like the this clubhouse, um, it just, um, yeah. it felt like you were at somebody's house. Actually, it didn't feel um, so official, you know? So that's the best part of it, I think. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so you won doubles in Charleston with Lucy. Yes. Yeah, it was, and it you, was, you guys won Madrid too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember um, seeing your picture up top of the of yeah. the, with the trophy. Yeah. I'm, so we won. Uh, yeah, in to, back in 2012 in Charleston and 2013 in Madrid, I think. Yeah. No. Oh, God. Our buddy Lucy. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. For sure, she's not. She's not even watching. Like never. Really? Um. <laughs> she's, she's so happy with her baby like but we we yeah. miss lucy on tour i think lucy was yeah. everyone just always says lucy was the nicest uh person on tour she's she's awesome but it was fun like we both played we both did ha, did really well in doubles with her i feel like we were her yeah. main partners yes <laughs> well probably because of you she stopped playing with me so but yes. anyways um <laughs> to okay, one, so that just, that just to means one you and i have to play one then <laughs> yes yeah. all right we've texted a few times and then it's just like yes. you haven't played some doubles or i've had a partner so yeah. whenever this happens we'll we'll get on the court i i guess this is it where i said there you go. all right well, you, <laughs> that everyone's was hearing it now <laughs> <laughs> it's official <laughs> definitely definitely all right pause well thanks for catching up bud it was good to see oh. you good to catch up Thank you for and, having me. It was fun. And um, take care. Stay safe, everybody. Um, love you. Mm. Yes, do it. I'll talk to you later. Stay warm in Moscow. Yes, will do. I'm going I'm to look for more hair picks, okay, bud? Yeah, sure. Send me some after. <laughs> All right. Bye. Sounds good. See you.